Welcome to the future, where AI intelligence meets sustainable strategy to reshape political landscapes. Imagine predictive algorithms guiding policy, ethical AIQ weaving equity into governance, and resilient communities empowered by data-driven eco-innovation. In the next 10 minutes, you'll discover the triple turbo engine, AI's power to amplify IQ, EQ, and AIQ for truly sustainable political decisions. In the next 10 minutes, we will explore the power of what I call the triple turbo engine, AI's ability to enhance IQ and EQ in making sustainable political decisions. The triple turbo engine explained into one, IQ, data-driven clarity, AI crunches petabytes of public data, demographics, economic indicators, climate models, in seconds, delivering precise forecasts. Example, in the USA, satellite feeds and open source intelligence pinpointed alarming nuclear facilities in Iran with sub-meter accuracy, optimizing both precision and security. Quote, Elon Musk, AI will democratize intelligence, unlocking insights no human could pass alone. Two, EQ, ethical governance. AIQ platforms like Ethical Insights analyze policy language for inclusive framing, flagging biased phrasing before laws are drafted. Emotional sentiment analysis tools, e.g. Humed AI, monitor public discourse, alerting leaders to rising social tensions and enabling empathetic interventions. Quote, Satya Nadella. Empathy is the engine of leadership. AI can amplify our innate EQ by revealing the human stories behind the data. 3. AIQ. Sustainable Foresight Machine Learning Models integrate sustainability development goals, SDGs, into every algorithmic suggestion. Tools like GreenLens, PM, weigh carbon footprints of infrastructure projects, ensuring policymaking aligns with climate commitments. Quote from Christiana Figueres. Data without purpose is noise. AIQ channels ambition toward a restorative planetary future. Imagine a world where global leaders harness AI to resolve crises and elevate leadership standards. In the USA, leaders use vast sets of data to pinpoint and localize nuclear activities in Iran, optimizing both precision and security. This is just the beginning. A lively case study, the Coastal Resilience Project, Caribbean edition. In the hurricane-scarred archipelago of Dominica, rising seas threatened towns like Portsmouth. The government partnered with Maralytics, an AI-powered marine climate platform. Data collection, buoy sensors beamed real-time sea level, salinity, and storm path data into the cloud. Predictive modeling, AI forecasted erosion hotspots with 98% confidence, producing geospatial risk maps. Community engagement, using Echo Voice, an AIQ tool, local fishermen's oral histories were transcribed and sentiment analysed, elevating indigenous wisdom in the decision-making loop. Outcome, strategically placed mangrove restoration projects cut shoreline retreat by 40% and revitalised fisheries, marrying tech-driven clarity with deep community EQ. Quote Barack Obama, The best ideas come from listening to everyone, from scientists to seniors, AI can help us hear those unheard voices. Our journey will delve into education and politics, two pivotal arenas where change is most impactful. With AI's backing, we not only boost intelligence and emotional awareness, but also craft data-driven strategies that pave the way for a sustainable future. In a covert campaign stretching back decades, Israeli intelligence agencies, most notably Mossad and their Western allies, have leveraged cutting-edge geospatial analysis, synthetic aperture radar, SAR, and hyperspectral satellite imagery to pinpoint and map Iran's most clandestine nuclear facilities. The revelations hinge on an extraordinary leak of Ahmad Plan archives in 2021, which Mossad delivered to the IAEA revealing forgotten sites such as Sanjarian, where ISIS monitoring analysts observed burial cover white sheeting from October 2020 to January 2021, concealing excavations designed for uranium enrichment equipment, timesofisrael.com. Maxar Technologies' sub-half-meter electro-optical, EO, imagery 
exposed anomalous activity at the Haftum e Tier complex south of Esfahan, once sanctioned for centrifuge component production. Commercial SAR data from IKE detected underground roof collapse signatures and thermal plumes indicative of heavy machinery, aligning with OSINT from the Institute for Science and International Securities 2022 report, understandingwar.org. Meanwhile, Planet Lab's daily revisit cadence captured suspicious concrete pores at Fordo's peripheral shafts. Echoes of 2004-05 concealment efforts, just days before coordinated IAF and US bunker buster strikes in June 2025, appnews.com. Analysts correlated these pores with NGI's nighttime lights data, confirming work on hardened silos under comms mountains. On the cyber front, Signals Intelligence intercepts reported by Reuters on June 26, 2025, quote, U.S. officials confirming Iran's failure to relocate significant enriched uranium stocks, despite initial satellite indications suggesting otherwise Reuters.com. Triangulating EO, SAR, open source social media geolocation, notably footage of Isfahan warehouse blasts, and classified human, Israel's intelligence fusion delivered a precision map of Iran's hidden enrichment network. These breakthroughs, deftly marrying IQ-grade analytics, EQ-informed ethical filtering, and AIQ-powered pattern recognition, have reshaped strategic planning. As the US Defense Intelligence Agency's preliminary assessment conceded, the strikes delayed Iran's breakout potential by an estimated six months, thedailybeast.com. Yet the deeper victory remains the OSINT-driven exposure of Iran's subterranean nuclear architecture, an intelligence triumph that underscores the pivotal role of guided data in steering geopolitical outcomes. Technical Deep Dive A – Building the Predictive Core Data Lakes and Lakes Houses We begin by consolidating both structured datasets, census figures, public health metrics, economic indicators, and unstructured streams such as social media chatter and high-resolution satellite imagery into scalable, cloud-native platforms like Databricks and Snowflake Lakes Houses. This unified data reservoir provides the foundation for real-time analytics, enabling rapid querying across petabytes of information, model training, leveraging TensorFlow, extended TFX, we construct robust pipelines that pre-process raw inputs, train multiple algorithms in parallel, and deploy ensemble models. For structured tabular data, demographics or infrastructure metrics, we apply gradient boosted tree ensembles, e.g. XGBoost, Light GBM, to capture complex non-linearities. For unstructured image data, drone or satellite scans, convolutional neural networks, CNNs, such as ResNet 50 or EfficientNet Extract Spatial Features, flagging anomalies like new construction or deforestation. The combined ensemble delivers high-precision forecasts on resource allocation, traffic flows, and environmental risk. B. Embedding ethical constraints. Fairness layers. To guard against systemic bias, we integrate IBM's AI Fairness 360 toolkit at each stage of model training. Real-time fairness metrics, e.g. disparate impact ratio, equalized odds, are computed and logged. If any demographic group is predicted to be underserved, whether by transit routes or public health outreach, the pipeline automatically triggers reweighting or data augmentation to restore parity. Explainable AI, XAI. Policies require transparency. We deploy SHAP, Shapley Additive Explanations. Values so every recommendation, expand bus line to District 7, can be decomposed into feature contributions. A policymaker can thus explain in plain language which social factors, population density, median income, pollution levels, drove that decision, enhancing public trust and accountability. C. Human AI collaboration decision. Dashboards, interactive portals built on Power BI integrated with Azure ML, allow leaders to slide adjustable equity versus efficiency knobs. As they nudge toward more equitable outcomes, the dashboard instantly recalculates projected impacts on cost, coverage and citizen satisfaction via live model inference. 
automated feedback loops. Community input is vital. We deploy a GPT-4 turbo-powered chatbot within municipal websites and social apps, conducting virtual town hall Q&As. Citizen sentiments, opinions on proposed zoning changes or tax reforms, are sentiment analysed and fed back into policy simulators, closing the loop between governance and grassroots voice. This layered technical architecture, combining data lakes, ensemble learning, fairness auditing, XAI, and interactive human AI interfaces, underpins truly sustainable political strategies, where every decision is both data-driven and democratically grounded. Part 4. A Vision of Shared Futures Mona stood at the edge of Gaza's dunes, 19 years old and brimming with possibility. Her dark curls, kissed by Mediterranean sun, framed a face that could have been born in Seville, Athens or Jerusalem. Olive-toned skin, high cheekbones and eyes the colour of ancient olive groves. In those eyes danced both longing and resolve. Mona spent her childhood amid the chatter of world literature and the hum of compute clusters in her family's modest internet cafe. By day, she devoured Neruda's verses. Tonight I can write the saddest lines, yet even so, I dream of new dawns where love outshines despair. And by night, she coded responsive websites and honed digital marketing strategies to connect small Gaza entrepreneurs to distant markets. Her vision was nothing less than a true paradise rising from the embers of centuries-old conflict. In Mona's dream, Gaza's shoreline bloomed with solar-powered greenhouses, irrigated by reclaimed water technologies she'd helped deploy. Tel Aviv, Haifa, Ramallah and Bethlehem formed a mosaic of shared innovation hubs where Israeli and Palestinian startups co-developed AI-driven apps for education, health and sustainable agriculture. Across the land, Druze farmers taught Bedouin shepherds carbon sequestering grazing methods. Christian monks and Muslim imams collaborated on renewable energy microgrids. And Jewish priests joined Palestinian sheikhs to restore the ancient olive terraces of Nablus. At the heart of this shared territory stood Jerusalem as a Zona Franca, an international holy land administered by a tripartite council of Muslims, Jews and Christians, alongside UNESCO and the World Council of Religious Leaders. Here, tourists and pilgrims walked from the Al-Aqsa compound through the Western Wall Plaza to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre under a canopy of peacekeepers and scholars, their faiths intertwining as vines on an ancient vine trellis. No checkpoints, no walls, only open gates and trembling lutes playing ancient melodies in the open air. Mona often quoted Rumi as she shaped her pitch decks. Out beyond ideas of wrongdoing and rightdoing, there is a field, I'll meet you there. That field, she believed, lay between Gaza's sea-blown dunes and the olive grove hills of Galilee, a place of shared harvest and shared hope. In boardrooms and cafes, she cited Che Guevara's call for radical solidarity. The revolution is not an apple that falls when it is ripe. You have to make it fall. But her guiding light remained Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream. I have a dream that one day, black men and white men, Christians and Muslims, Israelis and Palestinians will join hands and sing free at last. Mona translated that dream into code, collaborating on an app, Bridge Builder, that mapped cross-community volunteer projects, from beach cleanups in Gaza's dawn to tree planting festivals on the Mount of Olives. Users logged acts of kindness, repairing fences in Sterot or tutoring Arabic in Haifa, and earned digital badges that unlocked scholarship funds for study abroad. Through this platform, Mona's friends in Jaffa mentored children in Gaza City on AI ethics. Mona translated that dream into code, collaborating on an app, Bridge Builder, that mapped cross-community volunteer projects from beach cleanups in Gaza's dawn to tree planting festivals on the Mount of Olives. Users logged acts of kindness, repairing fences in Sterot or tutoring Arabic in Haifa and earned digital badges that unlocked scholarship funds for study abroad. Through this platform, Mona's friends in Jaffa mentored children in Gaza City on AI ethics. This was not utopian fantasy, 
but a sustainable strategy, the very architecture of tomorrow's governance. Mona's parents, once wary of ceasefire decrees, now read her weekly newsletter, Mediterranean Mosaic, charting the Tripartite Council's budget for joint desalination plants, co-chaired by Lebanese hydrologists and Israeli engineers. High school students from Ramallah and Haifa rehearsed the same folk dances in a virtual reality classroom, their avatars twirling beneath an olive tree planted in Mona's name. As the sun set behind the minaret-spired skyline, Mona raised her phone's camera to capture a flock of doves circling the holiest city. She whispered Neruda once more, let the earth be a cemetery of armaments and let love grow like grass where guns used to lie. In her code, her campaigns and her candour, Mona embodied a new politics, where intelligence met emotion and ethics turned conflict into collaboration. This was her legacy already in motion, a living testament that shared dreams like shared soil yield the sweetest fruit. Yair stood at the summit of Masada at dawn, 19 years old and radiant with possibility. His curly dark hair caught the first rosy light and his storm grey eyes, framed by sun-kissed olive skin, held the poise of a modern Moses, poised to lead his people toward a promised land of shared prosperity. Yair spent his childhood alternating between Talmudic study in Jerusalem's stone courtyards and coding marathons in Tel Aviv's startup hubs. By day, he absorbed the wisdom of Jewish sages. By night, he refined machine learning algorithms and crafted digital marketing campaigns to connect kibbutzim artisans with global audiences. His vision extended far beyond politics, a grand tapestry woven from IQ, EQ and AIQ. In Yair's dream, Israel and Palestine became a single living laboratory of innovation and compassion. Haifa's tech incubators and Gaza's green tech labs fused into one climate-neutral cluster, co-creating solar-powered desalination plants modelled on the Dead Sea's unique evaporation cycles. Jaffa's ancient port hosted joint hackathons where Lutheran theologians, Sephardic poets and Bedouin storytellers coded peace-building apps like Shalom Salah, enabling users to log acts of kindness and earn community-funded scholarships. Yair often invoked the words of Ailey Wiesel as he pitched his plans. Peace is not in our hands, it is in our spirits. He remembered Golda Meir's stirring call. We Jews have a secret weapon in our struggle with the Arabs. We have no place else to go. But Yair reframed it. Our shared place, his battlefield for collaboration, not conflict. Employing AIQ platforms such as Hume.ti for real-time empathy analysis and IBM Watson to audit policy drafts for equitable language, he crafted proposals as transparent and accountable as the ancient arches of the Knesset. At the heart of his vision sat Jerusalem as a Zona Franca, an international sanctuary administered by a council of Muslim, Jewish and Christian leaders, alongside UNESCO. Here, pilgrims from all faiths walked freely from the Western Wall through the Al-Aqsa compound to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre under the banner of shared guardianship. As the Mediterranean breeze rolled across the plateau, Yair raised his tablet to capture a drone-filmed panorama of Jerusalem's gold-domed skyline. He whispered Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel's eternal truth. In a free society, some are guilty, but all are responsible. In that whisper, Yair encoded his legacy, a generation committed not merely to coexistence, but to co-creation of a land where intelligence enlightens, empathy binds and technology uplifts every soul. As we smash through the boundaries of conventional strategies, we're crafting a narrative that inspires action, fosters trust and invites a new wave of subscribers to join our mission. Join us as we redefine the world's political landscape using AI's triple-powered potential. We believe our triple-turbo engine foreshadows a new era if we wisely apply AIQ for sustainable political strategies. Subscribe now, ring the bell, and join our community of 100,000 changemakers. Share this video to spark the debate in your own city, campus, or country. In 72 hours, let's hit 1,000,000 views and 100,000 subscribers, not for vanity, but to amplify our shared vision.
equitable, data-driven and deeply humane governance. Together, we can engineer a fairer future, powered by IQ, EQ and AIQ.